And for the last time this weekend, good morning again, everybody. Welcome to the Exploits Valley High School Gymnasium here in Grand Falls, Windsor. Getting set for our championship game in the Provincial Division I Men's Basketball Championship for Newfoundland and Labrador, sponsored by Molson Coors. My name is George Scott. Our cameraman this morning is Cameron Scott. And we're getting set to bring you this game between Donini's and Pentecon. Donini's team made up of players from Grand Falls, Windsor area, along with some players from the Munn Seahawks team and a couple of other pickups along the way. Pentecon team plays together in the men's league in St. John's. They've added a couple of players to their roster. Robbie Hickey and Bob Cook have joined the team for this tournament. Quick look at our broadcast location here. I'm George Scott. Michelle Cook next to me is the official scorer, timekeeper for this tournament. has been doing all the games, keeping us up to date on all the stats. We are just uh, a few seconds away from the start of our game here this morning. This will be our final game, championship game. And it's been our pleasure to be here all weekend doing the games of this Division I championship for the Newfoundland and Labrador Basketball Association. As you can see, warm-ups just wrapping up. They will go with the... I looked across the way, side of the three referees. Thought we might go with the three referee system for this, the championship game. We'll wait and see. Warm-ups are over. Teams are heading to their benches. We will get set to bring you this one. Four 10-minute periods. Playing under international amateur basketball rules. FIBA rules. And we are going to go with the three referees. We've got Gerard Bryan. Jimmy Mullet and Freddie Wakeham. We're refereeing our championship game here this morning. <laughs> Both these teams deep in their lineup can go deep into their benches. Good size on both teams. Donini's in the dark uniforms, Pentagon in the white. We're going to get Vasily Kurich against Robbie Hickey for the jump ball. Cook and Lewis, Alpha Kazuzi and Mitch Hearn also out there for Donini's. Kurich won the tip back to Lewis. Gets it down low to Hearn. He's guarded by Shepard. Summerton comes in to help out, knocks the ball loose. From Courage and Hickey's got the ball. Outlet up ahead to Hallern. Hallern skipped pass down in the corner to Will Bradbury. Dumped out to Hickey. Hickey threw it away. He was looking for Summerton. This is Mitch Hearn. Plays with Lakehead University, St. Catharines, Ontario. This is Alpha Kazuzi up top. For Courage, Courage is cut off, gives it back to Kazuzi. Kazuzi lays it off for Nigel Lewis. Lewis gets called for steps. Both teams now with a turnover to start this one. Will Bradbury. For Pentagon, directing traffic. Hearns on him. Shepard down in the low post. He's fouled by Lewis. Size advantage there for Shepard. Trying to back down Lewis. They want to get the ball down, work on that mismatch. Shepard inbounded. Hallern drops it off for Hickey. He was looking under the basket. Takes it in low against Courage. Can't get the first one. Fouled on the second. Brian Cook picks up the foul, so Hickey will go to the line, shoot two. (laughs) 
Hickey hits the first. Less than a minute into our opening quarter. Hickey missed the second one, but Cook was in too early. The lane, so Hickey will shoot it again. Players can't step into the lane until the ball has been released. That one also goes out. Summerton taps it out. Lewis has got it. Lewis quick up the floor. He'll take it in against Bradbury. Bradbury stripped him of the ball, and Hallern will bring it back down the court. Hallern to Hickey. Hickey on the baseline. He's cut off. Gives it to Summerton. Summerton lays it off for Shepard. Shepard up top, watched by Kazuzi. And the Hallern turns on him. Hallern trying to go baseline. Hearn takes it away, but steps on the end line. It'll be Pentagon ball out of bounds. Haller gets the handoff from Summerton, kicks it out top for Bradbury. He's watched by Hearn. Bradbury spinning into the key, gets a shot away. It's going to be a foul on Mitch Hearn. Will Bradbury will go to the line to shoot two. And a big difference in this game and the consolation game we saw earlier in terms of the intensity, especially on the defensive end. Bradbury makes the first of two. Second one rolls out. Cook with a good box out on Summerton comes up with the rebound, gets it to Mitch Hearn. Courage set the screen up high. Hearn uses it, drives down through the lane. Couldn't get it up over Summerton. Lewis with the offensive rebound. Out to Cook. Cook with a three-pointer. That rims out. Rebound. Summerton quick up the floor. Christian Summerton taking it against Cook. It's going to be an offensive foul as Brian Cook got position. Draws the foul. Good defense by Brian Cook. Read where Summerton was going to go. Got there first. Courage from the baseline. It's good for two. And that'll tie us at two. Courage, six foot nine out of Serbia, plays for the Munn Seahawks. Shepard, put to Bradbury. Bradbury drives it into the key. Step back, jump shot, well short. Hickey got the offensive rebound. <laughs> got to that missed shot, but couldn't finish it. Here's Alpha Kazuzi. This guy is super quick. Kazuzi with the left hand. Shepard did a good job to alter that. Hallern down the floor. Hallern with a couple of big games yesterday for Pentagon. <laughs> Lewis comes out to help out. Bradbury skip pass across to Shepard. Shepard down in the corner, cut off by Lewis. Down the far corner. Hallern's got some room to let it go. That shot short. Rebound taken by Kazuzi. Up ahead to Lewis. Lewis down the floor. Shepard picks him up. He'll drop it off for Hearn. Hearn with the shot for three. That's good. Bradbury into the key for Hickey. Down low, Summerton puts it up, rolls it in. Nice high low feed from Hickey down to Summerton. Hearn, again, Courage with the high screen. Summer, uh, Hearn uses it. Hallern, call for the foul, and see, hit him on the arm. Substitution. Hubert Adjaboy coming in, replacing Brian Cook. Cook with an effective few minutes to start the game. Hearn makes the first. Adjaboy, a graduate of Exploits Valley High. That's where we are playing our games today. Didn't get to play in this gym. He graduated before this gym was built. Played in the old gymnasium. Shepard backing down, up to Summerton. Summerton, Courage cuts him off, back out to Bradbury. Summerton sets a high screen. Bradbury uses it, comes in a wild shot as he was cut off, flipped it up over his shoulder, gets his re own rebound, flips it out, and it's Lewis down the floor. Nigel Lewis gonna take it in against Shepard. Nope, kicks it out to Hearn. Hearn steps on the end line, out of bounds.
Hallern, working against Kazuzi, takes him down baseline. Kazuzi cuts him off, drops it off for Hickey. Hickey with the shot. Courage had a hand in his face. Rebound is tipped up. Bradbury's got it. Bradbury with the putback. That went off the rim. Here's Kazuzi. Kazuzi driving down. He's cut off by Bradbury, looking for the foul. No call. Quick up the floor comes Pentacon. Hallern driving in against Courage. Hallern with a good shot over the top of Vasily Courage. One point game, expecting a close one between these two teams. Adjaboy. Down for Hearn. Tried to dump it in for Courage. Hickey got an arm in there. Knocked it loose. Hallern's away for Pentacon. Hallern working on Hearn. Tries to go baseline. Hearn cuts him off. Hallern dumps it into Hickey. Hickey blows the layup. Gets it back. Misses the second try as well. And it's Kazuzi. Robbie Hickey with a couple of good chances down low. Couldn't convert. Adjaboy in Somerton. Out for Lewis. Lewis tried to give it back to Adjaboy. Didn't cut down low enough, and Somerton picked it off. This is Somerton taking it down off the rim. And right now, Pentagon unable to convert. Some close in opportunities. <laughs> this is Vasily Kirch working against Hickey. Hickey knocked it loose. Lewis has got it. Feeds it back in for Kirch. Kirch going up. He's going to get fouled as he made his move to the basket. They're going to rule, I believe, that it's going to be not a shooting foul, but the, rather the ball is going to be on the end line. Substitutions all around. Kieran Hoxley coming in for Nigel Lewis. Steve Earls, George English coming in for Pentagon. Going out of Robbie Hickey and Christian Somerton. Courage on the outside. Earls picks him up. Earl's going to get called for the block. Hoxley will inbound it. Down low to Courage. Hearn calling for it up the three-point line. Courage spots him. Hearn. Nice crossover dribble. Help comes from English. Now Hearn will launch it. Front rim gets it to go. Quickly down the floor, Hallern. Down to Earls, Earls puts it up, blocked by Courage. Courage with the rebound. Hallern with the loose ball. Hallern gets called for steps, took the extra little step before he put the ball to the floor. Traveling is the call. 3.51 left to go in our opening quarter. Hearn is gonna use the Courage screen. Courage steps back off the screen, lets it fly. Three-pointer doesn't go. Hallern down for Shepard. Shepard on the wing, watched by Hoxley, drives it into the key, puts it up. It's going to be a foul. Two shots coming. Karen Hoxley with the foul for Donini's going to the line. Jason Shepard. Shepard makes one out of two. Nine seven is our score. Hoxley, long three ball, front rims it. <laughs> Rebound taken by Bradbury. Down for Earls, Earls got good position, front rims it, gets it again, puts it up and in. Three minutes to go, opening quarter, championship game. This is the men's provincial championship for Newfoundland and Labrador. Alpha Kazuzi let it fly, that hit the front rim. Hallern to Bradbury, over on the wing. Shepard, 4-3, doesn't go. English with the put back on the offensive board. Pentagon up by two. Hand off to Kazuzi, watch by Shepard, he'll give it back to Hearn. Hearn down low for Adjaboy. 
Adjibal had it knocked away by Summerton, but right to Courage. Courage from outside. That one hit the rim. Adjiboy tracks it down, keeps it alive. Courage trying to take it to the basket. Going to be a foul against George English. Ball's going to be on the end line. Substitutions, both teams. Shepard going out for Pentagon. Mark Tobin coming in. Adjiboy, Kazuzi, and Hearn coming out for Donini's. He'll be replaced by Lewis and Cook. And Ibi Dogar getting into the game. Grade 11 student at Exploits Valley High. Kirch makes the first. Two on the penalty. Fifth team foul against Pentagon in the quarter. Courage gets them both to go. Tobin on the right wing. Down low for Bradbury. Bradbury gets a shot away. That one off the rim. Cook with the rebound to Courage. Courage leaves it for Nigel Lewis. Lewis looking to dump it in for Courage down low. Courage has got it. Got it off to Cook, Cook up and in. Cook got inside position, got the pass. Gives Donini's two point lead. Lewis, he's alone on Hallern. Hallern step back, jump shot, off the rim, rebound. Hoxley up ahead to Lewis, Hallern stole it. Hallern take it to the basket. Doesn't get the call, looking for a foul on Courage. And that time it's going to be Hoxley with an extra step. She made the ball fake. Shifted the pivot foot, traveling, 119 to go. Just a two-point game. So far this game is exactly what we expected it to be. A battle down in the post, Earls and Courage. Earls push down Courage. He's going to pick up the offensive foul. Two guys were leaning against each other. Earls finally with the extra push, knocked down Courage. 1.10 to go. This is Nigel Lewis. Courage up top, Hickey's on him. Courage, skip pass down the corner for Dogar, back out for Cook, Cook tried to dump it in for Hoxley. From behind, it's Hallern with the push. Hoxley will go to the line, shoot two on the penalty. 55.8 seconds left to go in the quarter. And now we've got a technical foul. Mark Tobin hit with the technical. Pentagon not happy with the way the fouls are being called. Dogar to shoot. Misses the first. Yeah, a little confusion over the shooting, as I thought too. It should be the first foul was on Hoxley. That should have been two on the penalty, and then they would shoot the technical two more, and then it would be Donini's basketball. So I think we're going to get it right. Going to bring Hoxley in to shoot the penalty. Well, this is the correct order. The initial foul was committed against Hoxley. So he gets to shoot two on the penalty. Then there was a technical foul called against Mark Tobin. So Hoxley makes both. Now they will shoot the technical foul. Dogar shooting the technical, but in, in effect, this benefits Donini's as Dogar gets an extra crack at one because he'd missed the first one that shouldn't have been taken. So break for Donini's and they'll get the basketball. Under a minute to go, this could turn into a six point play if Donini's were able to convert here. Courage down low, jump shot off the rim. 
Still lots of time, 40 seconds left to go in the quarter. Bradbury quick up his shot, that's good. Back to four. 30 seconds to go, 24 second shot clock, so Donini's will have to shoot it. Cook for three, that's off the rim and out. Now it's under the 24, so Bradbury with the one finger up, indicating we're gonna shoot for one. We're just gonna go for one. Last shot, 10 seconds. Bench calling out the time for Bradbury. Step back, Dogar's on him. Bradbury gets the shot away off the rim, tipped out. English with the rebound, it's gonna count. Two Donini's players in there, went a little bit early. They were up in the air, came back down. English gets the offensive board, puts it back up, so. Pentagon with the last four points of the quarter. Back to a two point game. Ten minutes in the books. Two point difference between these two teams, which is pretty much what we expected. Now we get uh, referee Mullet's going to go over and explain what happened to the Pentagon bench. Not sure they're going to like the explanation. Question whether or not the first one was put up on the board because the first one was missed. So we've got a correct score, 17-15. Again, this is the Provincial Men's Championship, Division One for Newfoundland and Labrador. Pentagon will get the ball to start the second quarter as Donini's won the opening tip. They will just alternate possessions. <clears throat> the only jump ball happens at the start of the game. Two-man game, English and Hallern. Back to Hallern, Hallern. Watched by Lewis, turns, puts it up. Good jump shot. Hallern with a quick release. Lewis, some good defensive position. Kazuzi to Lewis. Lewis likes to go across to Kazuzi. That's going to be a long two pointer. Alpha Kazuzi gets on the board. Allen across to Bradbury, down low. George English, guarded by Kennedy, is in the game now for Donini's. Shepard tried to drop it off. It's going to be a blocking call against Donini's. James Kennedy picking up the foul. Ball on the end line. Pass out for Hickey, working against Courage. Spins in the lane, up and in, nice. Nice move by Kennedy as he spun in the lane. Got himself some distance between he and Courage. Lewis in a little bit of trouble. Tried to get it to Courage. You gotta be tr careful trying to dump it in. When Hickey's there, he's got those long arms Seen him twice already in this game. Reach and knock the ball away. Can't get the ball into Courage, who's trying to post up. Kazuzi up top. Kazuzi, watched by Bradbury. Lewis comes over to set the screen. Late getting there. It's going to be an offensive foul against Nigel Lewis. Just didn't get to that spot in time. Was moving on the screen. Lewis is going to come out. Jonathan Pye coming in. Bradbury in the wing to Hallen. He'll dump it into English. English working against Kennedy. Kicks it out to Shepard. Shepard 4 3 off the rim. They get a foul against George English. He reached in as Courage was trying to outlet the ball.
Mitch Hearn back in the game for Donini's. Alpha Kazuzi to Courage. Courage, step back, off the rim, rebound by English to Bradbury. Will Bradbury up the floor, hands it off to Hallern. Hallern tries to turn the corner against Pye. Pye with some good defense. Hickey with the offensive rebound, put back a little bit strong. Kazuzi over the top, knocks it loose. Hearns away. Mitch Hearn spinning against Bradbury. Bradbury with quick hands, gets it out ahead. Hallern's all alone on the layup. He'll put it in. And Pentagon have taken the lead now, 21-19. Pye down to Hearn. Hearn skip pass to Kennedy. Kennedy shot well short. Rebound taken by Shepard. Shepard looks up court, finds Hallern. Guarded by Kazuzi. Hallern taking it to the basket. Strong move. Jonathan Pye setting the screen for Kazuzi. Kazuzi doesn't use it, goes down low to Hearn. Pass across for Pye. Pye takes it to the basket, cut off by Shepard. Pye gets it back out to Kennedy. His shot well short off the rim. Ball goes out of bounds. It's going to be Pentagon basketball. Substitutions coming in for Pentagon. English and Hickey coming out. Christian Summerton. And Bob Cook coming in for Pentagon. Again, these, both these teams will go deep into their benches. Hallern for two. That one doesn't go. Rebound, Courage. Up ahead to Hearn. Hearn waiting for help. Long bounce pass across to Kazuzi. Pick that ball, pick that ball. Down to Courage. Courage. One-on-one -on -one with Cook, works his way inside. Nice move by Vasily Courage. A little easier time getting there on Cook as opposed to Hickey. Hallern kicks it out. This is Shepard driving into the key. Back out, that goes off Hallern's hands. Out of bounds, substitution. Vasily Courage comes out. He'll get a rest. Brian Cook back in for Donini's. 23-21, Pentagon lead in our championship game. Kazuzi, watched by Shepard, down low on the baseline for Cook. Cook into Pye. Pye backs down. Bradbury turns, gets called for the travel. He tried to make the baseline jumper. Bill Bradbury, a tough defender. Six minutes to go in the half. Cook. Summerton. And Kennedy's all over him as he turned. Bob Cook and Brian Cook having words. No relation. One's a cook without the E. <laughs> Brian Cook is with the E. And they each other a little tap. All forgotten. Summerton to the line for Pentagon. Christian Summerton makes the first. Summerton misses the second. Brian Cook's got the rebound. He's trapped but gets it out. Three point game. This is Alpha Kazuzi. Down to Pye. Pye, good pass across for Kennedy. Kennedy will lay it up and in. One point game. Hallern got Pike. Kennedy comes over to help out. Kennedy let him go. And Hallern puts it up and in. Hearn trying to get it into the key. Dribble it off his knee, but then Bradbury kicked it. So it's going to be Donini's basketball. Pye will inbound it. Hearn, baseline, back out for Kennedy, up top for Kazuzi, three-pointer, no good, off the front rim and out. <laughs> Hallern, guarded by Pye, likes to go baseline, Cook comes in to help, out to 
Bob Cook will give it to Bradbury. Bradbury grabbed by her, and it's going to be a foul up top. Ball's on the sideline. Shepard to inbound it. Gets it to Hallern. Guarded by Pye. This time he tries to step up and under off the backboard. Comes up short. Good defense by Pye. Forced a tough shot. Hallen really didn't get his feet under him that time. Kennedy. Nowhere to go. Comes up top for Kazuzi. Step in into the key. Kazuzi. Going to get called for steps. Traveling. As he hopped in through the key. Looking to get that layup. 4.30 left to go in the half. Three-point lead for Pentagon. Again, it's Hallern working on Pye. Kennedy comes over to help out. This time, Kennedy does a good job. Ball goes out of bounds. Pentagon basketball. Hallern working on Pye again. Again, looking to go baseline. Curls inside. Foul's going to go against Brian Cook. <clears throat> Hallern go to the line. More substitutions now coming in for both teams. Hickey comes in. Bob Cook goes out for Pentagon. For Donini's, we've got Hubert Adjaboy. Vasily Courage, Karen Hoxley all coming in. Kennedy, Pye, and Brian Cook take a seat. Hallern makes the first four point game now. And Hallern makes them both count. Susie on the wing for Hoxley to Hearn. Hearn tries to get it into Courage. This time Hickey gets called for the holding foul. Again, they're having trouble getting that entry pass down into Courage. Hickey's doing a good job. Hoxley to inbound it. Gives it to Alpha Kazuzi. Back to Hoxley. Hoxley with the quick three pointer. Strong off the rim and out of bounds. Outside shooting, a problem for Donini's here in the first half. Not able to knock down many of those outside shots. Five point lead for Pennycon, just under four minutes left to go in the half. Hallern again, loves to go baseline, drops it off for Hickey, that ball is knocked loose. Hallern comes up with it, up top for Shepard for three, front rim. Shepard tracks it down. That went off Summerton. That's going to be backcourt. <coughs> We're going to get a conversation with whether or not that ball was tipped. And they're going to get a change on the call, not backcourt. Clearly went off Summerton's head into the backcourt. The other referee thought it went off a Donini's player. Hearn down on the floor, going to get a jump ball. That's going to go to Donini's on the possession arrow. Three twenty to go in the half. Five point lead for Pennycon. Courage gets the entry pass this time. He'll take it to the hoop and one. Second foul on Robbie Hickey. We got a substitution coming into the game. George English. Summerton will come out. Vasily Courage. Converts the three-point play. It's a two-point game now. Pentecon ahead by two. That entry pass down to Courage is something that 
Donini's have had trouble making. Got it in there a couple of times and Courage has converted both times. That ball is blocked and Hoxley is away. Hoxley. Hoxley's going to take it to the basket. No, he likes to go all the way down the corner for Hearn. Hearn with a deep three. Hoxley comes up with the rebound. Hoxley will try a three. Again, it's short. Rebound. Hearn. Down to Adjaboy. Adjaboy ties the game. But again, no outside shooting for Donini's. Missed three outside shots. Kept getting the offensive rebound. Finally converted it down low. Here's Hickey trying to take it to the basket. We're going to get a foul. <laughs> Offense. It's away from the ball. Jason Shepard with the foul. Game is tied. 2.20 left to go in the half. Alpha Kazuzi. It's the ball down to Courage. Courage turning into the key. Out for Hoxley. Hoxley gets a step on Shepard. Takes it to the basket. Drops it off for Adjaboy. Doesn't drop. <sighs> Hallard, baseline reverse up and in. Under two minutes to go in the half. Kazuzi again looking to get that ball in. Ball's denied to Kirch. Hearn outside. Hallard stays with him, gets the ball down low. Adjaboy again misses the easy one underneath on a great pick and roll. Bradbury comes back with the three, way too long. Hearn will bring it back out. 125 to go in the half. Hearn. Ball is stolen by Haller and a miscommunication. Haller, an easy layup, up and in. Big mistake by Doninis. Hearn and Hoxley got a little mixed up. Hearn left the ball for Hoxley. Hoxley wasn't expecting it. <coughs> Four point lead, Hearn, screen set by Adjaboy Hearn with the shot. That's traveling call, break for Donini's as Halloran was in behind the defense again. <clears throat> 52 seconds to go in the half, Courage, Hickey's on him. Courage turns to the key, cut off, kicks it out for Hoxley to Hearn. Hearn off the Courage screen. Courage gets it back. Baseline tries to lob it up. Hearn gets a hand on it, tipped away and taken by Shepard. Down for Bradbury. Bradbury takes it to the basket. He's fouled by Kazuzi and Will Bradbury will go to the line, shoot two. 31 seconds to go in the half. Bradbury misses the first one. He's a pretty reliable free throw shooter. Good on the second. Back to a five point lead. Five second differential between time clock and shot clock. Again, can't get it into Courage. Hickey doing a good job. Kazuzi calling for the screen. Gets it, turns the corner. Kazuzi, he gets fouled by Shepard. Kazuzi's going to go to the line for two. <laughs> Kazuzi misses right. Good on the second, four point game. 12 seconds to go. Pentecon will hold it for the last shot of the half. Hand off to Hallern, watched by Hearn. Hallern's gonna take it himself. Hallern, stop, pop, way off the mark. That'll do it, first half is over. Four point lead for Pentecon. 
Good first half of basketball. For Doninis, they've got to get some outside shooting going. They can't rely on getting it inside all the time. They've missed a couple of easy ones. Actually, both sides have from down low. The outside shooting much better for Pennycon than Doninis at this point. That's really why they've got the four-point lead. We'll take a break, take a look at the first half stats. We'll get back to you before the start of the second. Just a five-minute intermission between the first and second half. Be right back. Taking a look at our first half in the game, leading scorer in the game, Justin Hallern, 16 points in the first half for Pentecon and Doninis are gonna win this game. They've gotta find some way to slow down Hallern. He killed them yesterday too. He had 22 in the first half against them in the round robin game. Nobody else with more than four points for Pentecon in the first half. For Doninis, leading scorer, Vasily Courage, he's got nine. Mitch Hearn has seven. And Alpha Kazuzi, normally a high scoring forward for Donini's. Only three points in that first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. And they've got to find a way to slow down Justin Hallern. Right now they trail by four points. As we get ready for period number three. Again, four 10 minute periods. We play in international basketball. That's the rules to play under. Same rules as you would see in the Olympics. Only player in any foul trouble is Steve Earls from Pinnacon. He has three fouls. Nobody else has more than two. Five fouls before you are disqualified from the game. So not a concern for either team at this point. A few seconds left in our halftime intermission. This is the championship game of the Men's Provincial Division I Championship for Newfoundland and Labrador, the basketball championship. This essentially ends the basketball year for the NLBA. All the major tournaments will conclude with this one this morning, the gold medal game or the championship game, Men's Division I. Major sponsor for this tournament, Molson Coors. I want to thank them for making this tournament a possibility. 
And, of course, we are pleased here at Bella Light to be part of this and to bring you all the games, live streaming. Started Friday evening with a couple games, four more yesterday in the round robin, and the consolation game, now the championship here this morning here in Bella Light Community One. Again, my name is George Scott, our cameraman this morning, Cameron Scott. I want to thank the other guys who helped out on the camera this week. Jordan Bennett, Nathan Sullivan, Roy King, Wayne Lynch. A number of guys chipped in, took a couple of games each. And certainly thankful for their contribution. All right, teams making their way back out onto the court. Again, Donini's in the dark uniforms, Pentagon in the white. Pentagon out of St. John's, where they play in the Men's Division I Basketball League in St. John's. All right, Pentagon ball to start. The second half, they lead by four. Bradbury gets it down low to Shepard. He's double teamed. That pass is deflected, picked off by Kazuzi. Kazuzi will settle it down, give it to Hearn. Hearn, he's watched by Hallern. Over to Kazuzi, they'll swing it over to Lewis. Lewis looking inside again, they can't get it down low. This is Courage, jump shot. That doesn't go. Courage looking for a foul on Shepard. Looked like Shepard was just straight up. Got, cut him off, here's Hallern. He's got Kazuzi on him. Adjaboy comes in to help out, tipped out, knocked away by Kazuzi. Ball is tipped away and out of bounds. It went off Courage. So it's gonna be Pentagon basketball. Good defense that time by Donini's. They're putting the quicker, Kazuzi uses the screen on by Bradbury up top though. Kazuzi couldn't get to him and Haller knocks it down. There's the screen and roll. Down for Courage, Courage off the backboard. Gets the friendly bounce. Haller that time used the screen by Shepard to get the ball, spins off the back of the rim, doesn't drop. Hearn, Hearn, he'll shoot the three, that goes for Mitch Hearn. Back to a one point game. Mitch Hearn, Newfoundlander playing for Lakehead University in St. Catharines, gonna get a foul it's going to be Nigel Lewis, number three, for the push. That is Lewis's third foul of the game. Summerton, watched by Adjaboy, takes it in, kicks it out. Hallern, Kazuzi on him. Hallern gets into the key, drops it off for Hickey. Hickey's foul from behind. Going to be Kazuzi with the foul. Hickey will go to the line to shoot two. That's Alpha Kazuzi's second foul. Too strong on the first one. Short on the second one. Rebound comes right back to him. Benini's didn't box out. Here's Hallern left alone. His three-pointer a little bit strong. Rebound, long one out to Lewis. Lewis up court, gives it to Hearn. Hearn with a long three-pointer. A little ambitious off the front rim. Lewis tried to bounce it in off of Bradbury. Bradbury got to the ball but couldn't control it. Went out of bounds. Donini's basketball. 7.59 to go, third quarter. Just a one point game between these two teams. Courage, the high screen, Kazuzi, likes to go the other way, tries the little hook shot. Adjaboy has it, Adjaboy can't get one to drop. Looked like a good release, just can't, can't buy one. Lewis working up on top against Heller, gets inside, Nigel Lewis with the basket. And Donini's retake the lead by one, 36-35. Hallern, it's Lewis. Down for Hickey, swings it across for Shepard. Dumps it down low, Summerton. Look for Summerton to pass out of this. 
No, he's going to shoot it over the top of Adjaboy. Nice move by Christian Summerton. As we go back and forth. Hearn to Kazuzi. For Courage. But Courage pushed way out before he can get that pass. Follow a jump shot. He's going to shoot two. They can't get the ball down low to Courage. He's having to move well away from the paint to get that pass. Hickey's doing a good job. That time he picked up a foul. Checks that three fouls on Robbie Hickey. That's Hickey's third foul. Carriage made the first. Second one a little bit strong off the rim out. Rebound by Summerton to Bradbury. Will Bradbury, nobody picked him up, takes it inside. Courage came over, altered the shot. Shepard has it. Shepard dishes it to Earls. Earls, mid-range baseline jumper. Thirty-nine, thirty-seven. Pentagon. Hearn, entry pass down low to Courage. He'll turn. He'll make that baseline jump shot. You know, Hickey out of the game. They may have an easier chance getting that ball down low to Courage. Earls against Courage. Earls rolls it in with the left hand. Nice move. <laughs> Lewis picked up by Bradbury. Down to Courage. Courage out on the wing. He'll rise up. Way too strong. May have settled for that shot. Bradbury down the middle, nobody picks him up. Courage forced to take the foul. That'll send Bradbury to the line. Donini's not getting back on defense on the transition. Bradbury saw it, just took it right to the rack. Forced Courage to foul him. Will Bradbury knocks them both down. Four point lead for Pennycon. Lewis. Bradbury stays with him. Up top for Kazuzi. Cross for Hearn. Hallern quick on him. Adjaboy sets the screen. Hearn tried to throw it across to Lewis. Knocked out of bounds by Bradbury. Still Donini's basketball. Courage. Kirch will take it inside, throws it up, couldn't get it to drop. i say it was before the shot anyway. Fouls on Steve Earls, that's his fourth. Kirch working against Earls, kicks it out to Lewis, throws it across for Kazuzi. Kazuzi taking it to the basket, he'll get it to drop. Back to a two-point game. Hallern with the basketball. He'll look to drive it to the baseline from that left side. Puts it up short. Rebound, Lewis. Nigel Lewis, quick up the floor. Gives it for Hearn. Bradbury picks him up. Cuts him off. As Hearn tried to go baseline, skip pass. To Kazuzi. Gets past. Earls misses the layup. And back comes Bradbury. Bradbury stop and pop on the three. That's strong. Ball's going to go out of bounds. It's going to be Donini's basketball. Substitution coming in for Pentagon. Earls will come out. He's got four fouls, so Bob Cook will come in. Mark Tobin coming in to replace Christian Summerton. 4.51 to go, third quarter. Championship game. This is the Newfoundland Labrador Men's Provincial Championship. Division I Championship. Down low, Adjaboy left all alone. This time he won't miss. Pentagon defense broke down. Substitutions came in. Nobody picked up Adjaboy. Halloran up top. Lewis, he gets some help. Be a blocking foul. It's going to go against Nigel Lewis. <clears throat> and that is Nigel Lewis' 
Fourth foul. Substitution. They'll quickly get Lewis out of the game. Karen Hoxley will come in to replace him. Hallern. Hoxley picks him up. Adjaboy comes out to help. Hallern spinning, looking up, getting into the key, puts it up and gets the roll. That's going to count. <clears throat> Second foul on Vasily Courage. But Hallern, two guys at him that time, still spawn into the middle. <clears throat> Got him in the air with the little head fake and then put it in. Makes good on the free throw. Three point play for Hallern. And it's a three point lead for Pennycon. Hearn down low for Courage. He's guarded by Cook. And we're going to get some more chitter chatter as Cook has words with Vasily Courage. They continue to jostle. I'm going to call a foul on both. So both Cook and Courage pick up technical fouls, but that's a, it's a tough foul for Donini's. It's Courage's third foul. And that came as a result of extracurriculars. They were separated once and then went back at it again. So not a good trade-off for Donini's on that one. Courage's third. But again, with Hickey out of the game, Donini's went right into Courage on the low post against Bob Cook. Cook fouled him, and then they got engaged. And both ended up picking up technical fouls. Those technical fouls will offset. Will be no, no shots taken. Play will just continue. You get referee... Gerard Bryan coming over to check on the foul situation. Four oh seven to go, third quarter. Three point lead for Pennycon. <clears throat> Courage. Working against Cook, Courage step back, off the rim, doesn't go. Rebound, Mark Tobin. <laughs> Tobin tried to drop it off. English dives in. Ball goes off of George English. Good bloodlines for the Pennycon team. George English, the cousin of Carol English. Of course, anybody who knows anything about Newfoundland basketball, even Canadian basketball should know the name Carol English. And as Courage turns baseline, gets fouled by Cook. Mark Tobin, son of Ron Tobin, a well-known basketball player, still playing in St. John's, but for Ron Tobin, in the 70s and 80s playing for Mon and senior men's basketball. <laughs> On the penalty, Courage will shoot two. It's the fifth team foul to Pentagon here in the third quarter. So every foul becomes a shooting foul. Courage rattles the second one in. One point game. <laughs> Set off the top. These were two evenly matched teams, and we're seeing that right now. Hallern, he's got Hawks down him, dumps it down for George. Quickly the double team comes back out to Hallern. Working on Hoxley, quick up off the rim. Ball is cleared out. English has it. Tobin, toss the pass to Bradbury. Thought about shooting it. Dogar's on him. Bradbury goes baseline. George kicks it out. Eight seconds to go on the shot clock. Hallern in the key, puts it up off the rim, gets his own offensive rebound, puts it up second time. Another foul coming up against 
Donini's. See who this is going to be against. It's going to go against Kennedy. <coughs> Courage was in there as well. But foul is to number 12, James Kennedy. Halloran to the line, leading by one, 2.55 to go in the quarter. Justin Hellern converts both. Back to a three-point lead. Robbie Hickey's back out on Courage again. Again, you see they're having a little tougher time getting the ball into Courage. He's got to move out to get it. Hickey bodying him up. Courage turns, kicks it out. This is Dogar for three. Front rim ball is off the rim and out of bounds. Pentagon basketball. Substitution. English is out, Summerton back in for Pentacon. Two thirty, left to go, third quarter, Bradbury. He's got Dogar on him all alone, no screens up top. Dump down low to Shepard. Shepard's got Hoxley on him. Shepard turning, drops it down low for Hickey, up and under. Pentacon extend their lead to five points now. Down low, Kennedy working on Summerton. He's going to take him to the basket, up and under. Gets the roll. It's in three-point game. Bradbury working on Dogar. Steps back. Short off the front rim. Kazuzi. It's going to be a foul against Pennycon. Will Bradbury picked up the foul. That was in the backcourt, but it's going to be two on the penalty. Alpha Kazuzi goes to the line. 151 left to go. Good with the first. Long on the second, but Courage with the rebound. Back to Kazuzi. He'll take it inside. He gets fouled. Foul's going to go against. Well, we'll wait and see. I thought it was Robbie Hickey first. It is indeed. Fouls against Hickey. And that is four fouls on Robbie Hickey. He's got to come out. 148 left to go, third quarter. Kazuzi back to the line. Chance to tie the game. That's short. Alpha Kazuzi makes one of two. Got a one point game. This is Hallern. Watched by Kazuzi up top. Hallern blows by. Kennedy comes with the help. Ball is dished off to Summer and back to. Hallern up top. Bradbury's shot <coughs> went off the rim. Excuse me, working off this sore throat even from last week and all the hockey games we did last weekend. Courage gets fouled as he grabbed the rebound. Summerton with the foul. And again on the penalty. Foul occurred way down the other end, but Courage will go to the line, shoot two. Donini's not doing a great job on the free throw line here in the third quarter. One more chance to tie it up. Vasily Courage again, back rims it, tipped out by Kazuzi. Offensive rebound. Hoxley for three, yes, ring it up. Two point lead for Donini's. 118 to go, third quarter. Hallern dumps it down low to Shepard. Quickly the double team comes from Courage. Shepard dribbles his way out of it, tries the left hand, goes up. Ball is loose along the end line. Touch last by English. It's going to be Donini's basketball. 106 left to go, third quarter. Hoxley gets a step, 
Kicks it back out to Kazuzi. Hoxley. Got George in the air, or English in the air, George English. Got the shot away, rimmed it out. Bradbury back. Bradbury taking it right to the key, but Courage is there. Stole it momentarily, taken away by Summerton. Gets it out to Hallern. On Dogar, down low for Summerton. Double team, kicks it outside to Bradbury. Swings it far side, Shepard. Shepard gets a step, drives the lane. He'll throw it to the far baseline. That shot rims out by Haller. New shot clock. They can hold it for one as we're inside 24. Bradbury will hold it for the last shot. Try and tie it up at the end of the third quarter. Down low for Haller. Haller got Dogar on him. Haller into the key. Summerton. Summerton. Oh, that's going to be an offensive foul against Christian Summerton. James Kennedy read the play, stepped up, took the charge. 4.2 seconds left to go in the quarter. Substitutions coming in for Pentagon. Bob Cook's back in. Hoxley's got four seconds up ahead. Kazuzi dishes it off. Kennedy with the shot. Off the rim, doesn't go. He got a good look. So third period done. Now Donini's up by two points. This one, I suspect, may come right down to the last few seconds. This is the game we expected to get. Good basketball being played here at Exploits Valley High Gymnasium this morning between Pentagon and Donini's. Things heating up a little bit. 52-50 after... Three quarters, got 10 minutes left to play. Foul trouble could make things interesting in the fourth quarter for Donini's. You've got Vasily Courage has got three and over on the Pentagon side, Summerton has four as does Steve Earls and Robbie Hickey also with four. That may be the, the biggest one at this point as Hickey was doing a good job keeping Courage away from the basket. But now with four fouls, he's had to come out and look for Danini's to, look, to go down low. Also, Danini's beginning to hit some of their outside jump shots. They couldn't make anything in the first half. And referee Dreyer Bryan just checking the foul situation as we get set for our fourth and final quarter. On the alternating possession, it's going to be Donini's basketball. Hoxley will inbound it, we'll give it to Hearn, and we are underway here in quarter number four. Kazuzi down low for Courage. He's got Cook on him. He turns. Far corner. Hearn gets a shot away. That's off the front rim. Hearn came in. Couldn't get to his rebound. It's going to be Donini's basketball. Again, Hoxley to inbound to Courage. Vasily Courage working on Cook. He'll take the jump shot. That's good. Didn't see that much from Courage in the first half. Here's Hallern driving out for Bradbury. He's got Hearn on him, gives it back to Hallern. Hallern guarded by Kazuzi. Takes it baseline. Courage cuts him off. Outside to Shepard. Shepard rises up for three. That's good. One point game again. Either team able to get. Much in the way of separation. Five points is the biggest lead anybody's had. Again, they'll go down to Courage. He'll kick it out. He gets called for steps. You can see with Hickey out of the game, Donini's will dump it down to Courage. If he draws the double team, he'll kick it out. And with Bob Cook guarding him, they've, Pentagon has to come with the second man. Shepard turning inside. 
way too strong. Cook with the rebound. Now that's a foul on Courage. That's going to be his fourth. Okay, no, it's not against Courage. They're going to call it against Adjaboy. So we know. Cook came in to replace Courage, thinking that was Courage's fourth, but the foul was on Adjaboy. Cook has to come in. We may look to see Courage come right back out at the first opportunity, and there it is. He'll come right back out. <laughs> Only three on Courage. High game, Bradbury rises up, his shot a little bit strong. Adjaboy chases down the rebound, gives it to Courage. Vasily Courage, bringing up the floor himself, leaves everybody off. He wants to take Cook himself, but he'll give it to Gazuzzi up top, down low, along the wing. Courage rises up, that shot doesn't go. Adjaboy with the rebound, kicks it out. Gazuzzi for three off the rim. Hoxley with the rebound, another offensive board. Kazuzi, inside, banks it in. A couple of offensive boards lead to a basket for Donini's, dished off by Hallern, up underneath. It'll be a traveling call against Cook. We get substitutions coming in for Pentagon. Hickey with four fouls will come back in the game now. As Bob Cook was unable to contain Vasily Courage. Hickey will pick him up. Hearn guarded by Bradbury. They'll clear out for Courage. Courage takes him inside. Hickey got a hand on it, but Courage strong. Makes the basket. Now Hickey is on Courage. He's going to make it a little tougher, but he's got four fouls, so... Still seven and a half to go in the game. Hallern working against Adjaboy, drops it off to Hickey. Hickey puts it up, nice soft touch. Two point game. Courage with the high screen for Hallern. Drops it off for Hoxley, gets Bradbury in the air, shoots it. That's good for two. Nice ball fake. Got Bradbury to bite on it. And stepped inside, knocked it down. We'll go down low for Hickey, working on Courage. Good defense by Courage. Adjaboy comes up with the loose ball. Courage just held his ground. Four point lead for Doninis. They'll go down low. Traveling is the call. Courage never did get his feet set after he caught the basketball. Six. 47, left to go, fourth period. Four point lead for Doninis. Pentagon with the basketball. Bradbury. High screen from Hickey. Kicks it out to Hallen. Back down low for Hickey, Hickey. Baseline, tough shot as he bounced off of Courage. With the one hander up. Hoxley. Back to Hallern, to Kazuzi, down low, Courage, guarded by Hickey. Courage backing him down, kicks it out for Kazuzi for three, front rim. Rebound, Courage, it's gonna be an offensive foul. Push off on the rebound, Courage, that's his fourth. 6.06 to go, so both Hickey and Vasily Courage with four fouls. Now Cook will come in and replace Vasily Courage. So a big moment in this game. Cook is gonna body up Hickey down low. Hickey comes up, set the screen. Driving to the basket, foul on Cook. Bradbury will go to the line, shoot two. Chance to tie the game for Pentagon. Hey, 
Bradbury for two, gets them both. We're back to a tie game. This Alpha. Kazuzi driving, draws the foul, he'll go to the line. Foul on Bradbury. Just his second. Kazuzi makes the first. Kazuzi gets them both. Donini's back up by two. Not much to choose between these two teams. Bradbury turns the corner. Got to count. Brian Cook with another one. Bradbury go to the line, 4-1, tie game. Back to a one point lead for a Pentagon. Five and a half to go in the game. At least in the fourth quarter. Overtime not out of the question with these two teams. Hoxley gets inside, but that shot well short. Forced it up a little bit. There's Hallern against Kazuzi. Hallern takes it to the basket. Strong move by Justin Hallern. Three point lead now for Pentagon. Largest lead of the game has been five. Brian Cook, offensive foul. He's <laughs> That's Brian Cook's fifth foul. He's going to have to come out of the game. Thirty seconds to make the substitution. 5:01 left to go here in the fourth quarter. Three-point lead for Pentecon. They'll have the ball when we come out of this timeout on the personal foul to Brian Cook, his fifth of the afternoon. Illegal screen. Thanks, guys. Vasily Kurich will come back in. Kurich, Hoxley. Kazuzi, Adjaboy, and Hearn out there for Donini. Summerton, Bradbury, Hickey, Hallern, and Shepard for Pentagon. This is Hallern. Taking it to the key, drops it off for Hickey. Traveling call. Straight where the inbound should happen. Basket went in, waved off, so the inbound comes from the sideline. Kazuzi, high arcing shot, that's good. Hallern, he's got Kazuzi on him. No one's been able to stop Hallern in this game. Hallern ducking under, couple of moves. Gets called for the travel. Carriage to come across with the block. Four and a half to go. Fourth quarter. Courage. Down in the corner for Hoxley. Up top for Kazuzi. Kazuzi, long three. That's off the rim. Bradbury stepped on the line. It's going to be Donini basketball on the end line. Pentagon lead by one. Courage steps out, gets it. He's going to try and drive it to the basket. Cut off by Hickey, puts it up, gets the friendly roll. Now it's Donini's by one. Under four to go. Hickey in the corner. Shepard puts it up. Shepard, baseline jump shot is good.
Try and get it down low. There's the long arms of Hickey. Knock that loose. Here's Hallern. Picked up by Hoxley, but Hallern makes it good. Three-point advantage for Pentecon. Tough to get that entry pass in there against Robbie Hickey. Kirch has got it, but he's forced outside again. Throw it across. That's picked off. Bradbury. Bradbury with the layup. Five-point lead, largest of the game. It matches their largest. A couple of turnovers by Donini's last two trips down the floor. Three minutes, 11 seconds left to go in the fourth period. Five-point lead for Pentecon. Donini's guilty of turning the ball over. A couple of ill-advised passes the last couple of trips down. Led to four quick transition points for Pennycon. They now lead it 71 66. And you're watching the men's Division I championship game for Newfoundland and Labrador, brought to you on Bell Alliant Community One. We are at the Exploits Valley High Gymnasium in Grand Falls, Windsor this weekend. Final game of the tournament schedule for Newfoundland Labrador Basketball Association. It's been a good game up till now. Five point is the difference. It'll be Donini's basketball on the inbounds. Hearn to Kazuzi. He'll use the high screen from Courage. Kicks it out to Hearn. Hearn picked up by Bradbury. Bradbury sticking with Hearn. Nowhere to go. Screen from Adjaboy. Reach in foul by Bradbury. <laughs> Bradbury's third. Under three to go here in the fourth quarter. Courage up top. He'll shoot the jump shot. That was a little flat. Never had a chance to get in. Rebound taken by Halloran. Halloran quick up the floor. Gives it to Shepard. Shepard's got Hickey underneath. He likes to go to Summerton. Back to Shepard. He'll settle it down to Halloran. Bradbury up top for Halloran. Halloran driving baseline against Kazuzi. Kazuzi's going to pick up the foul. There's going to be two shots coming for Halloran. Justin Halloran has just been unstoppable this afternoon, or this morning, for Pentecon. Six point lead. Halloran knocks them both down and it'll extend the lead to seven points now for Pentecon. Under two and a half left in the game. Adjaboy's got Summerton on him. Adjaboy up top for Hearn. Hearn working on Halloran. Takes it to the basket. He's going to draw a foul. Foul's on Halloran. Hearn will go to the line. Shoot two. Important free throws now for Donini's. They trail by seven. Need to take advantage of these opportunities. Gets the first. Mitch Hearn knocks them both down. Five point game, 2.10 left to go in the fourth quarter. Hallern. Spinning, couple of moves, kicks it out. Shepard, back rim. Halloran's got it, new clock. They'll use the clock, under two to go. Summerton, Summerton driving through the key. I believe it's going to be a foul. Number 22, Hubert Adjaboy. Two shots on the penalty. <clears throat> Summerton to go to the line. Yeah. 
Summerton makes the first. Six point lead. Summerton makes a second. Three possession game. Kazuzi up top, watched by Bradbury. Across for Hoxley. Hoxley down low for Adjaboy. Adjaboy goes up, makes it and gets the foul. He'll go to the line for one. <laughs> Summerton is fouled out of the game. 30 seconds to make a substitution. Teams are allowed to go to the benches, get their instructions. Talk about how they're going to play out these last minute 35 seconds. Adjaboy will be at the line. Chance to cut it to four points for Doninis. Look at the Doninis team huddle now over at the Pentagon one. See John Devereaux in the background on the roster. Hasn't played. Played a couple of minutes in the game yesterday. Mark Tobin really giving the instructions to his teammates. <laughs> Brian Cook on the other side, talking to the guys on Donini's. Minute 35 left to go. Add your boy on the line. Well, referee called out two shots. Correct, that is just the one. The basket was good. One shot for Adjaboy, cut it to four if he can make it. A little bit long, rebound taken by Hickey. Five point game, still two possessions. Bradbury down, kicks it out to Halloran, they'll use some clock. They'll take their time, minute 25 to go. Halloran driving, they're clearing out. He's one on one with Kazuzi. Now Hickey comes up, sets the screen. Halloran goes the other side, right to the basket, rolls out. Courage with the rebound. We got a foul underneath. Foul against Pentagon. That's five personals against Robbie Hickey. We get another 30 seconds to make the substitution. 109 left to go. Doninis will go to the line, shoot two when we come out of this timeout. Both teams are in the penalty. All fouls are now shooting fouls for the next minute, nine. <laughs> if Doninis can convert these two free throws, they'll cut it to a one possession game. Both Summerton and Hickey now on the bench with five fouls. English and Earls back in the game for Pentagon. Courage to shoot two. Good on the first. Four point difference. Again, 109 left on the time clock. Courage gets them both. It's a one possession game, three point lead. One minute to go, Bradbury, English comes up to set the screen, Bradbury kicks it out, Howland for three, rims out, rebound by Courage, Hearns got it. Kazuzi up top, to Hoxley, over to Hearn, 38 seconds. Hearn turns the corner, drops it down, Adjaboy gets it to go. One point game. 29 seconds. About five or six point six second differential between time clock and shot clock. Pentagon are going to have to take a shot. Bradbury kicks it out. That shot well short. Helen's got the rebound, puts it up. 
Timeout call by Doninis. Still just a one possession game. But great offensive rebound by Justin Hallern. Then with the putback. Timeout call by Doninis. They'll get the ball in the front court. 4.8 seconds, lots of time. They'll need a three pointer. Question is, who do they call on to take it? How do they get them the ball? That's what they're trying to figure out now in the huddle. We've got a number of good three-point shooters out there. Alpha Kazuzi, Mitch Hearn, Karen Hoxley. So they've got some options. For Pentecon, they may look at fouling right away to put. They have the option of fouling right away to put Doninis on the line to take away the three point shot. Then you run the risk of missing the second and getting a putback. And Pentecon's going to stop and think about this as well. So lots of strategy at play here. Well, that's the big question for Pentecon do they foul, do they not foul? What you don't want to do is foul the three-point shooter. So if you're going to foul, you got to foul before somebody's in the act of shooting. Got to get it quickly. Either that or you play your defense straight up. Try and force a tough three-point shot. If they do foul... Donini's go to the line. You get into a situation where if they make the first one, they may intentionally try and miss the second. Still a lot of play with just 4.8 seconds left to go. Hearn to inbound it. Hoxley in the corner. Can't get a shot to Hearn. Hearn launches it from way out. That's short. It's going to drop. That's it. Ball game over. Just the finish we expected. It came down to the last shot. Hearn got it away, but from well back of the three-point line. It wasn't a great look. Pennycon are the Provincial Division I champions for 2014. 77-74 final score. They defeat Donini's in a terrific championship game here this morning at Exploits Valley High. Teams will line up and shake hands there in front of us. Great basketball game here this morning. Pleased to bring it to you here on Bell Alliance Community One. We will wrap up our coverage here and leave it. Again, congratulations to Pennycon, Provincial Division I champions. Doninis with a hard-fought game. 77-74 is your final. That'll do it for us from the Exploits Valley High Gym here in Grand Falls, Windsor. Thanks for watching all weekend long. My name is George Scott, cameraman for today's games was Cameron Scott. I also want to thank Jordan Bennett, Nathan Sullivan, Roy King, and Wayne Lynch for helping out on the camera. I want to thank Michelle Cook for helping out doing all the scoring. She does all the scoring. She's the official scorer, timekeeper for the tournament. That's Michelle in the background. See, she's still working, like I said yesterday. She does all the work here, getting ready for the presentations. And Michelle helped us out with the stats here on Bella Line as well. That'll do it. We'll see you at the next event, whenever, wherever that may be. So long, everyone.